that's what I find so intriguing. In some sense, you know the answers, <laughs> assuming one does believe that. I realize not most scientists aren't going to necessarily believe the, the the Buddhist writings, but do you think it's as straightforward as that? Do do you think really one just can say that Buddhism does know the answer, or is there some element of uncertainty even within Buddhism? Well, uh, uh, again, you know that uh, I can't claim that uh, I know. Uh, everything and uh, but I know that uh, we have a, a great in a deep depth of a depth of uh, explanation how it uh, works after the death and uh, the you know the uh, when the mind would leave the body and after leaving the body uh, in the uh, intermediate state when it's going to happen, take the intermediate state and then after how many days would it you know uh, enter into another uh, life and so on and so forth there are uh, plenty of explanation and uh, um, that's uh, explanation is one thing as you are saying that experiencing uh, one uh, how would it work it uh, does doesn't need to be, you know, uh, you need need to be die or die or dying, but in our in our conscious in in a uh, now even we can experience in a mind how the body would shut, and when the body is shutting, that mind would be, you know, um, traveling uh, beyond the body. Or it will stuck. Then it is. Uh, then you know we talk. The mind isn't a form. It is uh, formless. It is uh, uh, intangible. So this, you know, in order to anywhere that uh, it travels. That uh, you know when we go into our inner mind, that uh, our mind is uh, uh, internal inner mind. As if it has all sort of uh, planet that behind your um, behind you there in the screen, like that, you know, there is the links. So um, you can uh, find the uh, proof in our life if we are able to uh, search uh, research properly. Thank you.